Okay, it's getting late. I hope everyone is doing okay. I have a budget meal, but it's a good meal. It's cheap, cheap, but good. It's uh, canned chili. And this is why I like to stockpile chili. Okay, today I was cleaning my uh, food storage and this chili expires in, I think it was, what was it? It was uh, March. So it's been expired, so I thought I better use it up. So uh, I was planning on making a spaghetti uh, bake, but I ended up with one can spaghetti, one can stewed tomatoes, then I grind it in the blender, uh, one cup water, but it ended up to be more. I kept adding the water until, you know, I cooked it down because I cooked, I added to the chili and the tomatoes uh, one half tube chorizo and I cooked that. Oh, I can't find the chorizo. Oh, here it is. It was really about a third. This is pork chorizo, it could be any kind. And I had a quarter pound hamburger cooked. And I was going to put some cheese, but I had a jalapeno cheese. And with the chorizo, I thought it had enough chili. So all I ended up doing was adding water. So uh, I, I buy the chilies when they're on sale for about a dollar and the stewed tomatoes were about a dollar. I buy the hamburger, uh, so it ends up to be about a dollar for a quarter pound, and the chorizo was maybe 25 cents. So that is how I came up with my chili, and I will put some in, in my big mug. Let me give you a close-up of the whole thing. So uh, what I did was I cooked it about 30 minutes to get the chorizo and meat flavor into my chili okay oh i don't like that i don't like that thumbnail let me get a decent sorry the thumbnails are important you guys okay all right so let's get a little bit of chili uh, this is enough for uh, two meals, three meals. Depends how much you want to eat. That's about a cup. And then I made a tasty little batch of Feature Man's um, cabbage salad. So here it is. Uh, once you get, the carrots last forever, the cabbage lasts forever, tomatoes, I have mayonnaise, I have a little ketchup and a little uh, relish. So, uh, let me see. Okay, so what I do is I usually stir the dressing around and then I start adding the cabbage and then the carrots so that my tomatoes don't get smashed. And I'm, you know, all my years of potato salad. So if you have a good cabbage salad, and uh, what I've been liking to do lately is adding anything and everything to my lettuce, tomato, and carrot salads, like olives, like cheese, like boiled eggs. But uh, this is like, maybe like one of the cheapest salads you can ever make. So let me get, what did I do with that stuff? Oh. Here it is. This, I've been putting this garlic and onion on everything. I bought this, it comes with garlic and cheese, Italian herbs, red peppers and i ended up paying about five dollars for this but i found they have it cheaper at all these so the next time i've been shopping at all these a lot 
I think this will be good. Uh, maybe a little black pepper would be good. Uh, well, we'll put the black pepper in later. So this, there'll be some of this left for tomorrow as well. All right, and I have, here's my newest teacup. This is nice. I just broke one of my teacups. When you use them all the time, they break. I have just plain old black tea because I used up all my chai tea. So see how pretty the tea looks in a good teacup? It makes all the difference. It tastes better, too. All right. So this chili is good. Uh, and last night I made a uh, spaghetti bake. The recipe is on um, Twitter. So today I had spaghetti again for lunch. And what I made, I put in my spaghetti as I had these good sausages. And I was at Grocery Outlet today and I was looking to see if they had any marked down. They had some for $2.99. Um, but I'm waiting. And so I put that in my uh, spaghetti and it was delicious. And uh, I still have a lot of spaghetti left, so I will freeze that because I had it two meals. Okay, here was the cheese I was going to use. See, it was 44 cents. But it's perfect, you know, so why drive the price up? All right, so life is good. All right, so now uh, let me go. Okay. So now I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the, the food storage in case you uh, tune out. So why even worry about food storage? Why are you always harping about food storage? Because if you have a roof over your head and you have food and water, you can survive. Think of it as money. Okay, SNAP gives you $281 a month. That's like the rock bottom. So if you're, you're existing on less than that, you should get SNAP. So that is $3,372 a year. So is that money? Yeah, that's money. Okay, think about now reduce food. So today I bought a couple things for the stockpile. I bought this for uh, 99 cents. And then you can make sandwiches, but you can almost so make stir fries with this. You just fry a little of this meat, you scramble some eggs, you add some rice, you add some vegetables and some salt, pepper, and sugar, and hopefully soy sauce. You can eat this stuff with eggs. So I got that for a grocery outlet for 99 cents. And then I mentioned to you guys so these are $5 cake mixes and I got these for 99 cents and they're not expiring anytime soon. So what I, uh, why I was attracted, here's the spaghetti I used, in case you didn't see the video. Okay, so now with those cake mixes, they're approximately twice as much as this. And if you have this, you can make the dump cake. So basically I could make four of these dump cakes with the two, $2 worth of cake mix, or I could make um, cookies, or I could make cupcakes or a cake. I figure the reason they didn't sell is because the, it was green, green and blue. So, and then this is going to expire. So I need to, um, make something out of this pretty soon okay so let's think about uh half price food that's all right the the meat was more than half price but it's easy enough you have to work on it a little bit so instead of if you had a snap benefit and so when you buy half price food you're really getting twice as much so are you going to be eating better at $562 a month or $281 a month? Also for the year, 
3,372 as opposed to $6,744. So now I wanna mention uh, Mean Queen Super Scrimper. How much does food cost in the UK these days? Go to this video. I have watched it about three times and it's really good. First of all, you know, we hear these reports that the food is so expensive in the UK. It, her food's a lot cheaper than it is out here. Way cheaper. And she bought that at Aldi's over there. And I've been shopping at Aldi's lately too. And I've been getting some pretty good food. Okay, now she's a vegetarian. But with the food she bought for her cats, which was tuna, ham, and uh, turkey lunch meat or chicken lunch meat, it was a great approach to two weeks food that's not too expensive, more than easily done on a SNAP benefit. But if you find these places where you can get the produce half price, where you can get the meat and the dairy half price, you're gonna have basically twice as much food. So that needs to be learned. Um, one thing she said, though, was her refrigerator was bare. So basically, she ate down all of her food before getting more food, which is okay as long as there's no food shortage. And she does not buy reduced food because she does not need to. I don't need to either. There's this concept in real estate. I've been studying real estate, nursing, you know, every, I do this. And there's a concept that no prudent man would do elsewise. So if all the houses are essentially the same, why would you pay the most for a house? What you will want to do is you usually buy the moderate house, not the cheapest, not the most expensive. But what I do is I can buy better quality food, like the sausages that I put in my spaghetti. I can buy them cheaper than cheap hot dogs. So, and the other, um, the other um, real estate concept is buyer beware. So when we're going to the, uh, there's been reports that people are getting home and they're finding uh, there's these like grievous like $5 um, errors on their food. This happened to me. I went and I bought uh, some organic pumpkin and it said fifth two for a dollar. I go, wow, that's a fantastic deal. I got up there and I had paid $7. So I took it right, I took it back. And so I've been hearing that this is happening. But also, you know, um, I am not so sure that they didn't just cause us all to panic and buy their old inventory. That's what it seemed like a lot. So the, beware when you're going to the store, watch what you're doing, try to find stuff cheaper. Why wouldn't you? Any prudent man would, you know, would not do otherwise. Uh, go to Mean Queen Super Screamer. How much? does food cost in the UK these days? And I am trying to learn the vegetarianism a little bit. Okay, there's another a good one, Go Goshen Prepping. Summer shortages, 15 items to stock up now, time is short. Um, here's the video. Okay, so what I heard and what I observed is they're removing the food and it looks like they're doing a remodel. They're not remodeling, I don't know what they're doing. But uh, some of the things that I noticed was masks and bleach, pet food, hairspray, Kotex because of the cotton, toilet paper, sleeping pills, water, and bleach. So we want to think about those too. Okay, it's too cold to plant a garden here still. I mean, it's really cold for here. So I wanted to show you. Uh, my husband was the gardener. So I just put my seeds in, and these are wet paper towels. And I'm gonna try to sprout them for about seven or 10 days. And if they sprout, even if they don't sprout, I'm going to put them in the backyard. And here is the soybeans. I wanna sprout these for sure. And then I wanna plant those. So that's, I'm sprouting my stuff a little bit. Okay, let me give you, okay. Here is the thumbprint cookies I made. 
and this is going to be in the cookbook and this is my homemade jam so you go through a little extra work and you make some homemade jam and some homemade cookies for one thing you're going to have better cookies and then if you have a little jam you're not really going to be suffering if you don't have that much fruit and you can make your jam out of canned uh canned fruit and these are peanut butter Ooh, these are peanut butter cookies i made with my homemade peanut butter and so one of the things i noticed on mean queen super scrimper is that she had um I'm watching that video over and over again. She had uh, stockpiled some seeds. And what she does is she grinds them and puts them on her oatmeal. So now let me give you the, the thumbprint cookie recipe. Let me get up close here. Get this recipe. And you know I made the... And with the peanut butter... Um, I wanted to use that up and I ended up using all my jam up so that's good so I'll just put my cookies in the freezer and then you know I'm gonna have cookies but you can buy uh, cookies almost cheaper if you get them marked down not if you pay full price speaking to of, of the effort of it and it's not that much effort Okay, now let me give you the peanut butter cookie. This is an old cookbook. Uh, my cookies were a little bit loose because I made half a batch. And all I needed was half an egg in my, um, my um, thumbprint cook, half a yolk. So I put all of the egg in my peanut butter cookies, which threw the dough off a little bit. But it still tastes really, really good. I, I think my peanut butter cookies are pretty good, that recipe, but I haven't arrived on that recipe like I have on the thumbprint cookies. Okay, now I wanted to mention I was going to make, I bought English muffins and I was going to make bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. So if you go out for bacon and egg sandwiches, those are pretty expensive, but you can buy them pretty cheap. There's a lot of things you can buy pretty cheap. So the main takeaway is try to find your food drastically reduced. And it can be done very easily. You go to the places, um, even though uh, if you don't have like discount shops, all these has lots of good deals. I really like that, um, that, um, that haul that Mean Queen Super Scrimper does because it's all the stuff we can get here. But if you're just determined to get all your food marked down or at the lowest possible price, over time it's gonna make the biggest difference in your life. For one thing, would it make any difference if you only had to buy as much? Would it make a difference if the money you spent was six months as opposed to a year? Of course, and you did this year after year and everything else you did. You bought your clothes cheap. You know, one thing I cannot really find cheap is gasoline. <laughs> okay, you guys, I will see you later. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and God bless you all.